Welcome to Module 1 of the four-module series for the Department of Family and Community Medicine's Family Medicine Resident QI Curriculum, Introduction to QI. As you progress through these slides, please follow along in your workbook to support your learning. There will be some interactive elements along the way that are outlined in your workbook and space allotted for note-taking to augment your learning experience. The first module is the introductory slide series for the four modules that comprise the in-class element of the FM resident QI curriculum. In this module, we define QI, highlight quality as an important driver in healthcare, set the triple aim as the target for improvement efforts, differentiate quality improvement from research and quality assurance, and outline the broader FM resident curriculum for the PGY-1 learner. These six learning objectives build on the pre-work that you completed, viewing the YouTube videos and reading the articles, and your site-based discussions surrounding identification of QI projects. Quality improvement. Definition. The combined and unceasing efforts of everyone to make the changes that will lead to better patient outcomes. Health better system performance, care, and better professional development, learning. Winnie the Pooh provides a lighthearted perspective on why we need QI. If we could stop bumping for a moment and think of it. In our healthcare careers, we often tolerate processes and practices that we know could be better. Quality improvement skills and knowledge provide us with the tools to do things differently. Recalling the YouTube videos that you viewed as an element of the pre-work, you will recall the focus that Deming made on learning or building knowledge about the systems we work with. With quality improvement skill and knowledge, we focus on learning from our work and improving it. An important perspective that is often commented on related to quality improvement is that we have two jobs, one to do our work and the second and equally important job to improve our work. When we think about the various improvement drivers that you will connect with during your medical careers, we would like you to think beyond quality improvement and recognize that quality can be achieved across many drivers that you will encounter. The next few slides will address each of these drivers and provide examples that relate to medical education. Goal, continuing education. To maintain professional knowledge and skills after the completion of formal education. Example. Foundation for Medical Education, McMaster University, Problem-Based Small Group Learning. Goal, Professional Development, to attain new knowledge and skills now applicable to one's professional practice. Example, Learning Cognitive Behavioral Therapy because of the prevalence of mental health issues in your practice. Goal, Knowledge Translation, to apply new knowledge into one's professional practice in the most effective way possible. Example, Academic Detailing, Drug and Therapeutics Information Service, Australia. Goal, Quality Assurance. To judge that a system meets an identified set of standards of performance. Example, Quality Book of Tools. When we say system, it is helpful to highlight that a system includes the people, processes, items, equipment that are working together towards a common purpose or the outcome. Okay. In summary, improvement drivers are varied and seek to address quality in many ways. Quality improvement specifically focuses on the improvement perspective, seeking better than current performance or current state. The CANMEDS 2015 Physician Competency Framework addresses QI in three of the seven roles, medical expert, leader, and scholar. As depicted on this slide, there are four key competencies that directly reference quality improvement in the respective roles. The presence of QI as a key competency for physicians signals the legitimacy of the knowledge and skills for change for your careers. Please reference the pre-reading article, Improvement Science and the Future of Family Medicine. The Institute for Healthcare Improvement, or IHI, developed a framework, the triple aim, that describes the three foci of quality improvement efforts. 
There is a focus on population health, which allows for segmenting the population to address specific areas requiring improvement. Enhancing the patient and provider care experience includes specific foci on quality parameters, access, and reliability, and also speaks to the overall realm of patient-centeredness. The focus on value is related to the goal of reducing, or at least controlling, the per capita cost of care. Value is framed as a function of quality or cost, implying that an increase in quality while maintaining cost improves value, as does a reduction in cost and maintenance of quality. Building on the pre-work article that we asked you to review, the science of improvement incorporates social science and acknowledges the complex, multi-component interventions that exist within equally complex environments. OXO refers to O, observe a system, X, introduce a change or a perturbation, and O, observe again. Properly measured, the changes in outcome are, with a calculable degree of certainty, attributable to the perturbation. This resembles a traditional RCT approach and the control of influencers over related processes or systems. Contrast this with C plus M equals O, where complexity in the system is represented as context plus mechanism, or the change, equals outcome. Programs work or have successful outcomes only insofar as they introduce the appropriate ideas and opportunities or mechanisms to groups in the appropriate social and cultural conditions or contexts. Reference the article from pre-work or pre-reading, The Science of Improvement by Dr. Don Berwick. Adapting to change. Is all change an improvement? Every improvement involves change. Reflect on examples where change was not an improvement. You may be familiar with Roger's curve relating to diffusion of innovations. Adapting to change is an important construct to think about related to quality improvement. The innovators will be keen to test change. The early adopters will follow the innovators, lead with a receptive lens to testing and spreading change. The early and late majority will be watching what is happening and cautiously testing changes once they are reassured that it is relevant and beneficial to do so. Laggards will be watching what is happening and will be the last to change. This does not mean that laggards are negative team players. They are often the natural risk managers and can lend an interesting and important perspective on the possible impact of specific change. Keep in mind that individuals play different roles across this curve for different changes. Reflect on how you adapt to change, such as a new technology versus a new environment. Engaging your colleagues. As family physicians, you will play a leadership role in the engaging of your colleagues in positive change. Use data to generate light, not heat. Using data to generate light, not heat, illuminates the opportunity for change and frames the current state in a non-judgmental lens. Time is a strong driver. Give back time. This is important to everyone in healthcare. Focus on change that focuses on efficiency and giving back time. Make physicians partners. Involve them where necessary and involve them early. Physician engagement is critical to quality improvement success. Identify leaders, champions, laggards, etc. Identify where your colleagues are with respect to adapting to change. Each player on the Rogers diffusion curve plays an important role in change and supports learning about your system in addition to targeting specific change ideas that are best suited for improvement. Studies show increased satisfaction with work life if involved with QI work. Having the skill and knowledge to drive positive change surrounding your work environment has been proven to increase job satisfaction. Use a proven methodology. Use a methodology such as the model for improvement that is proven to drive improvement. This is a visual of the QI curriculum. The lightly shaded boxes represent key elements of the curriculum. This is a visual of the QI project elements that are required. 
Completing a QI project provides you with application experience, which is key in learning this content. A project guide has been developed to support your application or QI project journey and is available online or in hard copy. So now you know how to define quality improvement, differentiate the quality drivers in healthcare, describe the CanMeds 2015 key competencies related to QI, set the triple aim as the target for improvement efforts, differentiate the methodology of the science of improvement from traditional research and quality assurance methodologies, outline the QI curriculum for family medicine residents. Your faculty supervisor will be happy to answer any questions you may have.